So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the problem redundant parenthesis. So the question is something like that. Given a valid expression containing only binary operators, plus minus multiply and divide and operands, remove all the redundant parenthesis. So a set of parentheses said to be redundant if removing them does not change the value of the expression. So this question was as in Oracle. Yes, this is a hard question. But as per I have applied the basic maths, that was not being submitted. Uh, that was giving the wrong answer as I tried. So like this question, I think has given the wrong test cases because let me tell you why. Let's say I have something. Let me give you the reason. Like if I have A into B into C. Does this not mean A into B into C? Why? Because 2 into 4 into 3 is equal to 2 into 4 into 3 because associative multiplication is associative. So that means I think the test cases are wrong. So my approach is something different as I've applied. So my approach is something like, like first I am casing the, uh, creating the basic maths cases first case. Case number one, let's say I have multiplication outside and inside I have A into B plus C. And let's say this is Z. So when I do, when I remove the parenthesis, what will happen? D into A plus B plus C. If I remove the parenthesis, now multiplication will take this A and B and C will be added separately. But if I do this, first this will be added, then this will be multiplied. So this is something wrong. So we can say, similarly, if I get inside minus, same case, same case. So we can say, say uh, whenever we get multiplication outside. So instead only multiplication is allowed, neither minus nor plus nor division is allowed. Okay. Now come to next case. If I get my uh, division, same for division. Division, let's say I have division of 8 by 4 by 2. What will be? 8 by 4 by 2. If I add bracket here, this will be 8 divided by 2, which is equals to 4. If I do it normally without parenthesis, it will be 8 divided by 4, 2, divided by 2, 1. So I can say this is wrong. So that means we can say that whenever we get division, so neither this allowed, neither this allowed, neither this allowed. No one is allowed. Plus, minus, all will be changed because this has more priority. Division has more priority than plus and minus. So it will be first divided. Similarly, multiplication has more priority. And in multiplication, only one thing that it is associative. That's why we can take it inside. That means if it is A into B into C, so we can say A into B into C also. Work. But division can never take any one because we can see both are giving different answer. So now this was case for division. Now let's come to plus. Plus have no problem. Why? Because if I rub this. Plus has no problem. Like let's say I am adding here plus. Plus, so D plus A into B plus into C or minus D, whatever we do. If I remove parentheses as well, D will always add because first uh, multiplication as priority, it will multiply. Division as priority, divide. Minus is pri minus will minus will subtract first. Plus will just add to whatever answer it gets. So plus have no problem. So for multiplication, minus, plus, division, it will work for all. Now, let's come to a uh, different case. Let's say I come to this point. Whenever I get subtraction, okay, I have problem in plus. Why? Because let's say A minus B plus C. Obviously, we have learned the property in basic math, A minus minus plus minus. So it will change. Similarly, if we have A minus B minus C, A minus B plus C. So I can say for minus, plus and minus are not allowed. Only division and multiplication are allowed. Rather, uh, all others are not allowed. So, okay. Now these three, these four cases are covered. Now we have saw the left side, okay, but we have not saw the right side. So like here is A plus B plus C and in 2D. So if I remove the parentheses, this will become A plus B plus C in 2D. Okay, so that means whenever multiplication is there, same case will occur. We don't want inside any minus plus or division. We don't want any one. We don't want any one. So similarly, if there is multiplication, we can say same cases. Similarly, if we get division, we have same cases. We will uh, see that no one should be there. Similarly, if we have plus, if we have plus, no will win matter. So no need to think about just remove parentheses. Similarly, if we have subtraction. Now tell me one thing. 
if a minus b minus c plus d minus e for this bracket does this minus matters no this will do whatever it do this will matter for this bracket because minus will affect next bracket not previous bracket so we can say minus will have different case for right hand side that it will also no matter for any one it will work for any one okay so now this was all about what the cases i can write so these cases are just i have written by 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 basic maths so now one thing that i want to tell you we want to remove redundant parentheses let's say i have expression like this a plus b plus c into d e minus so what is my approach like i will remove these brackets similarly i will remove these brackets like uh, i will remove these brackets only these one similarly i will remove these brackets also so this will become e minus a plus b plus c into d why because i will remove these bracket these bracket so it will help me to get only one bracket so i have to operate only on one bracket okay so this is my approach so then i will check whether inside is plus yes whether outside is minus yes so inside is plus outside is minus it is not allowed that means we can't remove these brackets okay so these this is the approach that i'm going to use and whenever i get these brackets so i will remove these brackets so let's code this up approach how can we do this so obviously for dynamic removal addition brackets we can use what stack so let's create a stack so initially i will have a stack okay now i will uh, create a visited array so that which bracket i don't need to take now i will traverse whole string and then if exp of i means expression of i is equal to equal to opening bracket or exp of i is equal to equal to plus or expression of i is equal to equal to minus or exp of i is equal to equal to divide or exp of i is equal to equal to multiply i will just push them within the push their indices within the uh, stack okay now in the else case i will check whether i am coming with the opening bracket now now i will create three four variable plus minus and division multiplication false now i will remove the redundant parentheses as i said two two brackets until i get one bracket only so i will check if 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 first i will remove the inside characters like let me tell like let's say i have this bracket so within the stack i have bracket plus plus now this come so i will remove this until i get this opening bracket as if, as we do in normal parentheses questions so just remove the elements until i get this in current is equal to sc top i will remove from the stack and if exp of current is equal to equal to plus plus is equals to true if exp of current is equal to equal to minus minus is equals to true similarly if i get within the brackets division then division is equals to true uh, i should create a division variable similarly if exp of current is equal to equal to multiply mul is equal to true okay now what we will do now i will uh, get the because we were removing until we get the this bracket so i can say when i was removing plus plus so i got this so i will not remove it so add that i will remove it so i will say j is used to sc top i will remove it from the stack then now if i remove it from the stack now what is my main work i have done completed that opening and closing bracket now i have now my main task is to remove the redundant parentheses okay so what i will do let me create a variable previous is equals to y so what i'm trying to do let me tell like this is the opening bracket these are some of the brackets and this is some okay so i got this one this is my currently i so i am maintain this previous why because i am going to mark this as true if this bracket is not required 
okay similarly i will maintain this st top this is st top which is not required so i have two variable one variable is j one variable is previous so these and these will be marked false means true uh, because if they are not required let's say i have plus 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 so that means they are not required uh, or we have multiplier minus meaning any condition will match they are not required so i will say just do i plus plus and i will operate an i and i will do until i less than n and until the stack becomes not empty i will say that if exp of sc top is equal to equal to opening bracket and exp of i is equal to equal to closing bracket that means opening closing bracket redundant brackets are there so we will remove them until we are getting visit sc dot top is equal to true and why do i plus plus because something like whenever i get for loop so i have operated the above expression so i have to do i plus plus obviously for operating next parenthesis so now sc pop and i plus plus so we have remove all the redundant parenthesis so whenever i remove the redundant parenthesis let's say i am here and th these were the bracket that we have stored in uh, previous and we have stored in g so we have removed this bracket now i have to do i plus plus now i came here but next time i come to for loop it will also increment it will come here so we have to first make it here now as we do because we have gone uh, higher so i have to do i minus minus so if i i plus one now i am telling you the cases as i told first case let's say here is expression here is multiply so inside should be multiply only nothing should be there as i said for multiply this case will work for multiply multiply should also work only not minus not plus not divide okay so i will say if i plus one is less than n and if at next point means if just after bracket why i'm checking just after bracket so let me tell like this is the a plus b plus c this is z plus e this is minus this is multiply now tell me one thing if i'm operating this bracket does this multiplication matter for this no currently no currently this multiplication does not matter here so i will say i will say that i will check whether next ne for next multiplication i will check let's say a plus b plus c and into d but if i remove this parent this will become a plus b plus c into d this will be wrong so i will say that if nx is a multiplication if next op operation is a multiplication then what is allowed only multiplication so if at any point we get division or we have got addition we have got subtraction that means this parenthesis can't be removed so just go ahead now next case similarly as i told for this if exp of i plus one if expression of i plus one is equal to equal to division what that means that means uh, as i said in division if i have division here inside neither division should be there neither multiplication should be there neither subtraction neither plus as we know if we add plus obviously a plus b plus c c divided by d this will be given more priority for multiplication if i have let's say multiplication like this so if i do like a plus b into c divided by d so maybe c by d because they have same priority it will give more priority so we have to keep it but if we have division you will ask it should have same priority no if i do this let's say uh, let me tell like this and this are the same no if i do 4 divided by 2 this will 2 this will be 4 now if i do now similarly if i do 8 divided by 4 divided by 2 this will be 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 both are different so we can't remove their parentheses so we will say that if we get division or we get addition or we get subtraction or we get multiplication anything is not allowed now now tell me one thing like let's see let's say uh, after removing this parenthesis my stack have nothing available that means no operator is available no operator behind this is available so that means i should go forward because i've already taken then uh, means whenever i have bracket we have two operators right hand side and left hand side we have operated them can't take multiply can't take divide for some cases we have operated them now come here now for left hand side if there is no operator so we are well and fine so if if the stack is empty that means no operators available and or we can see next can be if let's say here is a does this parenthesis matter no 
So we have removed this parenthesis, obviously, these one. Uh, wait, wait, wait. These one parenthesis. Like these one parenthesis, I have already removed. So this one parenthesis only left. And this one is also not matter because there is no operator inside. No operator inside. So we will say, we will say that if there is no operator, that means neither plus nor minus nor multiply nor divide. That means that means this is not required. This parenthesis is redundant. Visit of previous is equal to visit of J is equal to true. So we will say that this bracket is not required. Just mark them as true. Okay. Now that's why I have maintained previous and J. That I was saying. Like whenever these brackets are there, so I I have these two pointers J and previous. I have removed them. Mark them true. Now whenever if these brackets are not low, we will also take them and say that they are not required. And now let's go to next. Next case is if exp of sc top is equal to equal to plus y xp top. Now I have removed these parentheses. Now here let's say expression is plus sc top. This is within the stack. When I have added plus, I have removed these brackets. So this plus is left. If this is plus, so I have said for plus everything will work. So just mark previous and j as true. Now next case if exp of sc top is equal to equal to minus. As I've said, that for minus, that for minus, neither plus a plus b, because it will become a minus b. Similarly, if it is minus, it will become a plus b. So neither plus nor minus are allowed. The rest all are allowed. So we will say, if there is no plus and no uh, multiplication is uh, mi uh, minus is available, no plus, no addition is available, no subtraction is available, so we'll say this bracket is redundant. We can go ahead with it. Because if there is inside multiplication, if there is no plus or minus, so obviously we have multiplication or division something. And they have given more priority, they will do first their work, then they will come to subtraction only. So it will not matter ever. So that's why we have marked them redundant. And we have considered for plus, we have considered for minus, we will consider for what? Multiplication. So as I said, for multiplication, what are allowed? Only multiplication only neither division so if all of them only multiplication is available and these three are not available then that means this bracket is redundant because inside is multiplication multiplication is associative okay so this is that now now these cases are taken now in the uh, last point what i will do i will create a string which will store the answer so whatever redundant brackets are there will be removed so i will traverse the whole string i less than i plus plus and every time if this is already visited then i will not take it so i will say if this is not visited then i will take it so answer a pushback what exp of i and add then what i will return answer let's try to compile in the code um i think something i have missed hmm. Here I have a two equals, it should be one. Yes. So for some expression, it is working valid. Let's say for this expression, it is not working valid as I saw. Mm, yes. Why? They, let's see. Let's say they have said multiplication and then bracket. So why? Why should I take multiplication here? This bracket is obviously not allowed. Why? Not required. Why? Because this multiplication, when A into B into C, as I said, is associative. A into B into C is associated. So obviously this is not required. So that's why I'm saying the test case is wrong. This question was asked in article. That's why important. So this is all about code. So if you like the explanation, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.